Our age often suffers from what C.S. Lewis once called chronological snobbery. This is the notion that the present is always better than the past, and that what's modern stands on more solid ground than that which is ancient. This is a particular problem for the church in America. Those caught up in the spirit of the age think they have to modernize the Christian faith in order to make it more appealing to contemporary minds. This leads to everything from nouveau worship services that are little more than thinly veiled nightclub performances to minimizing or even outright rejection of basic biblical truths on marriage and sexuality. The modern philosopher Neil Postman in his book, Amusing Ourselves to Death, noted that studies showed students who regularly watched educational programs like Sesame Street actually performed more poorly than those who didn't. The problem, as Postman described it, was that it taught children to love school only if school was like Sesame Street, image-based and doled out in short, noisy, bite-sized pieces. It did not educate so much as it changed children's views of education. Well, what does this have to do with the church? Well, when you change the form of something, you change the thing itself. When worship is made a shallow echo of secular pop culture, and when uncomfortable truths are jettisoned in the name of evangelism, we do not teach people how to love God. We teach people to love to be entertained and comforted by a God of their own making. The biblical author Jude calls for us to contend for the faith that was once for all delivered to the saints. As has been said, what we save people by is what we save them to. Will we save them to a mindless, self-centered, feeling-based illusion? Or will we save them to the holy, sovereign, and true God of the Bible and of the historic Christian faith?